Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Why Donald Trump Can't Restore Freedom to the United States of America By Pao Chang I have been hearing many people, including supporters of alternative media outlets, say that Donald Trump is going to restore the United States of America back to its glory days. Based on my research on the political system of the USA and understanding of how governments truly work, I can confidently say that Donald Trump is just another puppet of the elite. However, some puppets do rebel against their masters. Is Donald Trump one of them? What most people do not realize is that Donald Trump is not working for the American people, because he is the president of one of the largest corporations in the world. This corporation is called the United States Incorporated, also doing business as the United States of America Incorporated. They often write the corporate name United States without the Incorporated to prevent you from knowing that it is a corporation. If you want proof that the United States is a corporation, read my empowering article titled Proof That the USA Is Controlled by Foreign Corporations. Why Nearly All Politicians Are Blood Sucking, Energy Sucking Actors. Another very important thing you need to know about nearly all politicians is that they are actors trained in the art of attracting your attention, so they can drain your energy and give it to the dark forces. Like they say, where attention goes energy flows. The word politician is defined as a person who is active in party politics. The word you need to pay attention to in the previous definition is politics. The word politics means the science or art of political government or the practice or profession of conducting political affairs. When you split the word politics into two words, it becomes politics. The word poly sounds similar to the prefix poly. According to dictionary.com, poly means a combining form with the meanings much, many and, in chemistry, polymeric, used in the formation of compound words. As for the word tick, it sounds like the word tick, which means any of numerous blood-sucking arachnids of the order Acarina, including their families Ixtidae and Argocidae, somewhat larger than the related mites and having a barbed proboscis for attachment to the skin of warm-blooded vertebrates. Based on the definitions in the previous paragraphs, a politician is a blood-sucking person who conducts political affairs with many other blood-sucking persons. Nearly all politicians are bloodsuckers because their acting role is to trick you to give them your attention, so they can drain your energy. Keep in mind that blood is one of the best substances for transporting energy. Below is an excerpt from an article I wrote titled Why the Right to Vote in the United States is a Fraud that explains why politicians are bloodsuckers or energy suckers. This article talks about how the voting system is used to drain your energy. The word vote is defined as a formal expression of opinion or choice, either positive or negative, made by an individual or body of individuals or the means by which such expression is made, as a ballot, ticket, etc. These two definitions of the word vote only show you its meanings at the surface. To find the deeper meanings of the word vote, you need to use the art of phonics to help you see the relation among words. Phonetically, the word vote sounds exactly like the word volt. Where do you go vote, vault at? In a voting terminal or a polling, polling place. The word poll sounds similar to the word poll. A poll is the electric battery poll of positive, plus, or negative. In other words, in order to vote you need to go to the polls, polls, so that you can place your vote, vault on the candidate that you want to see put in charge. Once the votes, volts are counted. The politician or politician that receives the most votes, volts is the one who is going to be put into the position of power. Maybe this is why it is called power politics. Are you starting to see the connection here? The presidential election is nothing more than a game created by the international banksters to con you to agree to be a battery, so that they can drain your energy. This is why before they can summon you to go to court, they need to charge you first. Why Politicians Are Not The Answers To Freedom Politicians have never been the answers to freedom because true freedom requires personal responsibility. True freedom also requires the courage to exercise your natural rights. When you rely on politicians to govern you, what you are really doing is telling them that you are still an incompetent child and irresponsible, 
and therefore you need a legal guardian, the government, to babysit you and make decisions on your behalf. As long as you have a legal guardian, you can never be truly free. Relying on politicians to govern you is strong evidence that you are mentally incompetent. An incompetent person is not allowed to have true freedom, because he could harm himself or worse harm others. When you rely on politicians to make important decisions for you, they see you as an incompetent child who needs to be babysat every day. If you were a politician, legal guardian, government, would you want to give an incompetent child the freedom to do whatever he wants? Politicians are often very addicted to money and power. The elite are well aware of this, which is why they pay politicians a large amount of money, furthermore, they give them special privileges, allowing politicians to get away with many illegal activities and live like royalty. Because of these benefits, most politicians would rather defend the system of the elite than change it. Most politicians are comfortable where they are at, therefore, the last thing they want is to help the people to significantly change the system. Why the people are the answers to freedom. If we want to be truly free, we need to stop relying on politicians to tell us what to do and how to think. We need to stop behaving like incompetent children and start being competent adults by taking responsibility for our lives and making politicians responsible for their actions. According to Lifehack.org, Albert Einstein once said, No problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. In other words, to truly be free, we have to transcend the idea that created the problem. In this article, the problem is the idea that we need a government to survive. In reality, if most of us are truly responsible, we can survive just fine without a government. To transcend the idea of government requires a significant shift in consciousness that is above the level of consciousness that created the idea of government. Once this shift happens, we can eventually live in a society free of governments and managed by responsible people, we the people of the world. Is anarchy one of the answers to transcending the idea of government? Most people have been brainwashed to think that anarchy means chaos. The word anarchy simply means absence of government. It can also mean a state of lawlessness or political disorder due to the absence of governmental authority. When they say lawlessness, they are talking about living in a society without government laws, which are not really laws but are acts and statutes, rules and codes of corporations. The biggest threats to the survival of big governments and the elite are responsible and educated people who can live peacefully in an anarchist society. These responsible and educated people are the true expressions of social order. They are the true expressions of social order because they know how to live in harmony with one another without relying on government agents to keep the peace. A peaceful, educated and brave anarchist society naturally empowers the people to take charge of their lives, and therefore motivates them to be responsible people. Because of this, it is one of the answers to true freedom. Unfortunately, most people are not yet responsible enough to live without a government because they lack knowledge of empowerment and courage. By now you should understand why the answers to true freedom are inside each of us and not in politicians, such as Donald Trump. President Trump is the CEO of the United States Inc., a private federal corporation. Because of this, his number one priority is to make sure his shareholders are happy. Yes, the United States Inc., like any major corporation, has shareholders which are the elite. These are some of the reasons why President Trump cannot restore true freedom to United States citizens. The good news is that the United States Inc., like any corporation, needs the people's support to thrive. Because of this, if the people put enough pressure on the President, Donald Trump, of the United States and his administration, the elite might tell President Trump to temporarily stop the New World Order agenda. However, this does not mean that President Trump will be able to restore freedom to United States citizens. If you do not like what the United States Inc. is doing to the world, stop supporting it as much as possible. One of the most effective ways to do this is to learn how to exercise and defend your natural rights, so you can remove yourself from the jurisdiction of the legal system. Also, learn how the birth certificate is used to take away your natural rights and stop voting. 
Read this empowering article to learn why you should stop voting. An empowering article that will help you understand why politicians are not the answers to freedom is titled U.S. Admiralty Courts Exist Because the United States is Under Martial Law. Also, read this empowering free book titled The United States is Still a British Colony. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.